This is page 248 from the book The Tiny One by Elisa Minot, written in 1999. We all have mothers. We all have fathers. We all have what's us not being here before we are born and after we die. We all have this. We all have what's there before we are alive that we can't see and what remains after we die which we'll never know. You can lose more than you'd ever thought you'd find, but you can also find more than you'll ever lose. Faya, the girl, has found something. The sky is white like frozen milk. The trees and clapboard houses stand lining the road like an audience watching their solemn procession pass. And as the quiet car glides through the town of Masconomo, past the crescent of beach at the base of Slate Avenue, past the slope of hill with the low stone wall, past the scruffy red farmhouse at the edge of the woods, past the gas station, the grocery store, past the library's clock, fire feels something going, something is gone, and it's much more than her mother. It's that girl. It's that girl in the pigtails walking to school. That girl in the t-shirt swinging down from a swing. That girl in the sneakers kicking at rocks. That girl in the towel running back from the pool. That girl in the raincoat headed over next door. That girl in the life jacket up front in the bow. That girl in the high tops, whittling the stick. That girl with her hair brushed, who waited, who watched, who jumped in the water when no one else went, who came into the kitchen and no one was there. <coughs> <coughs> that girl in the rowboat rowing back in. That girl at the window, that girl at the door. That girl in the wind who hummed, who laughed, that girl who yelled, wait, or one more for me, who wiggled her tooth, who dangled her legs, that girl at the beach, drawing lines in the sand, that girl up at bed, that girl who dug holes, that girl who was spun, that girl on the snowbank looking up at the birds, that girl on her bed sitting, singing slowly to sleep, who blew out the candles, who fell from the tree, who whispered so softly, Shh, come with me, who stomped on the, on the mud and tracked it indoors, the peony girls, that peony girl, that yawning girl, that girl with a fever and drink by her bed, who is building a fort out of branches and leaves, who is up in her room and won't, won't come, come down, who is rounding the house, who is coming inside, who is tearing in circles through the crowded loud room, who is weaving through waists of belt loops and skirts, who is searching through grown-ups, all talking so much, who is looking through faces like tulips up high, who is looking for one face among all the others, who is seeing her mother, who is seeing her mother, then running back on outside, who first finds her mother, then does all the rest. The sight of her mother was rooted under that girl's days that grew up from it, its hourliness of living, its sounds of her words, its backward bends and kicks forward in the air. And once that girl found her mother, everything else would settle and slow down. All points would focus, beautiful and clear, stable and set. All would return to its best, everything done up, right side right, the stars above and the trees outside, the sky so big and the world of air, the ocean out flat with its horizon line. It would all fall back to its careful close distance, patient, and there with that nameless sensation of whole relief, whole gratitude and whole joy.
the rivers are nestled close together in the front row pew of the church. Faya is watching. She, she's partly on Pete's lap and she's turning around watching all of the people. The church is so full of them that they spill out the front door into the street. She looks up at the balcony on the back, in the back and there are men up there in a row like books on a shelf, each of them holding a gold trumpet. Father Kelly's robe is clean and white. The dark coffin is covered in yellow daffodils. There are daffodils on the altar. After Father Kelly talks some, the trumpets begin playing. Fire leans back into Pete and kicks her leg up into her father's lap. She looks up at the high ceiling and over at the painting of angels above the altar, listening to the trumpets below. She holds a big bouquet of daisies in her fist. Later on, when the service is over, she'll hand them out one by one to people on the steps outside as they are leaving. But for now she holds them, sitting stunned in her seat on Pete's lap, her hair brushed down but with some winter static fuzzing up. Sleepy-looking Vaya is surrounded in a gentle radiance that only a death can bring. It's a glow of life. It is a glow of who's living in it. The music stops. She turns around to see why. The church is silent. She can hear people rustling paper a little. A baby cries out in the back. Father Kelly moves a chair that squeaks when he sits down in it. Someone blows their nose while someone else coughs. But the air is without music and it's stopped. It's empty air, suspended and dry. Then the trumpets begin again. The trumpets begin again and there are the high ceilings, the flowers, the people and the angels, stained glass that are like charms of color. It's all there again. The trumpets begin again and here, relieved as the music starts again, fire becomes engulfed in that feeling that yes, certainly, of course, there is something remarkable here. There is certainly something remarkable here, like the Sistine Chapel or the Taj Mahal, like music that pulls you and you can't tell how, like a cathedral with all of its time and death and ages put into it, like an empty room with another presence, a good presence, like someone dead come back, an empty chair, but someone sitting in it, something present, something strange. Yes, there is certainly something here, something remarkable, like the ocean and seeing it stretching on, moving, rolling cold, rolling strong, blue and grey and blue and green, with all of its white caps and foam fringes, its movement and depth, its calm, on and on, the stars, on and on, like a roaring waterfall that never stops, power, like a jungle, something ancient, something mysterious, like rain, like ro long warm ropes of rain and the human sound of rain breathing, like faces in windows calling you home, like flying, like light, flight, it's a blustering heart, this is hands and eyes and the wrists of dawn. We rise up forward in unison, unison. We tip forward. We remember. We are there. We fold in and reach out. We return. This is the heart of life beating and the body in that. This is you. This is us. This is love. This is home. This is love in a place where it always has been and where we know it will always be. Every day from now on forever, I won't see mum. I don't get what, I'll happen, what will happen now. I feel sad and I feel so weird. I don't get it. It's like something special that scares me, but I like it too. I don't like it at all, but I can't explain.
I close my eyes and it's shining. I open them and it's shining too. I don't get what's going to happen now. I'll just keep doing what I did before. I'll keep looking for her just like I did before. I can find her even if she's gone. I'll see as much as I can. I'll look for her. It feels like I'm falling out of sleep. I'm falling up. I'll keep up. I miss her because too much gets said that just gets forgot about. Because so much gets seen that just goes down the drain. I'll look for mum and I'll find her. I look hard. I wish I didn't have to. But I do. That's what I feel like now. Like someone sprinkled special glittery dust all over me that went right through my skin and all, is all over in me now. Not like crammed in, but powdered all over the place, like that fertilizer that dad sprinkles in the garden. Or like powdered snow that's dusted down and will never melt. It's the tiny one, thing in me, that's at the bottom of all the rest, that I know will never go. It's the tiny one thing in me that will, like, hold me forever to looking for mum. It makes my eyes like watcher eyes. That's what's in there. It's like the dust of magnets or something that will pull me to her. I always try to see. I'll get better and better at it every day. I watch and remember. I will look. Because it keeps life from getting lost and wondering where she went. Because it keeps life.